remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Dr. Mike Baby Care Channel. Your Pregnancy Week 10 Now that you've reached 10 weeks pregnant, you may stop wondering when you'll start to actually look pregnant, because it's probably right around now. This week, you and baby have made a big accomplishment. Your baby is no longer an embryo, it is now officially a fetus. That means your 10-week fetus is becoming more and more baby-like, and you're inching closer and closer to leaving the nasties of the first trimester behind you. Your baby's development at 10 weeks. At week 10 of pregnancy, your baby is as big as a strawberry. While baby-to-be's pearly white's tooth won't appear until she's about 6 months old, teeny tooth buds are now developing under the gums. This week, the stomach is producing digestive juices and the kidneys are making larger quantities of urine. Bones and cartilage are forming this week, knees and ankles are starting to take shape and tiny elbows are already working. 10 Weeks Pregnant Symptoms Round ligament pain. Don't be surprised if you start feeling some aches and pains in your abdomen as it stretches to accommodate your growing baby. While some moms to be don't really get or notice them, others find these sensations downright painful. Let your doctor know if your discomfort is intense or if you're worried in any way about your 10 weeks pregnant symptoms. Fatigue. You're tired. Here's why. Not only is your body working really hard to grow baby, but your sleep might be disrupted by some pretty weird dreams. Ask for help, get some rest and work in some exercise when you can. Food Cravings and Aversions It's okay to indulge once in a while or eat a bite-sized piece of chocolate instead of a brownie, but if your cravings are getting out of hand, try some distractions. Call a friend, read a book, head to the gym or go for a walk. Morning Sickness Nausea and vomiting are pretty common at 10 weeks pregnant, and of course it's not always in the morning. The good news is, they'll likely subside soon after you hit the second trimester. Increased Vaginal Discharge An increased blood flow to your vagina coupled with an increase in estrogen production could cause more of a clear, odorless discharge called leucorrhea. It might seem a little gross, but this substance is simply nature's way of getting rid of bacteria. However, if it's colored, tinged with blood, has a foul odor or causes discomfort, call your doctor. Those could be signs of something else. Visible veins. The increased blood supply is also responsible for the roadmap of veins crisscrossing their way across your belly and breasts. Those veins are doing the important work of taking nutrients and blood to your baby. So there's nothing you can do but wait. They will disappear though. Pregnancy checklist at 10 weeks pregnant. Include your partner to participate in your pregnancy. Continue to take prenatal vitamins. Map out a healthy sleep routine. Consider NIPT, non-invasive prenatal testing, which is a blood test used to screen for Down syndrome in women who are considered high risk. You're probably still dealing with some early pregnancy symptoms this week. But, since morning sickness typically peaks during week 9, you may start to notice it begin to fade as the days go on. Of course, while symptoms such as nausea may fade, other symptoms, such as sleep issues, may appear or get worse. At the end of this week, your little one sheds the title of embryo and graduates to the next level of development. As you start week 11, your baby is officially a fetus. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.